Hello and welcome back to Time Out Quick Guides. Today we are going to be taking you through the streets of old Dubai, showing you the places to visit if you want to explore some of Dubai's historic past. But before we get going, don't forget to subscribe to the Time Out GCC YouTube channel. There's a button just down there for loads more videos just like this. Okay, first on the list today is an Abra ride across Dubai Creek. When hearing the rest of the things in this list, Please bear in mind that the ideal way of exploring Old Dubai is to get lost wandering the streets and traversing the Dubai Creek. A ride across said creek is available from multiple points and multiple times per hour. Hop on an Abra, pay your one dirham fee, yes, just one dirham, and take in a unique perspective of Dubai's most historic quarter. It's a brilliant way to get around and costs almost nothing. Fantastic. Fantastic. The next on today's list is the Al Fahidi Historical Neighbourhood. Al Fahidi, formerly known as Bastikia, is one of the city's oldest heritage sites. In the 1800s, it was a trading hub for textile and pearl merchants in the shadow of Al Fahidi Fort, now home to the Dubai Museum, and we've got more on that later. There are art galleries and exhibitions, make sure you check out XVA and Majlis Gallery, and there are also institutes such as the Sheikh Mohammed Centre for Cultural Understanding. Again, more on that later. There are tons of things to do, including museums and merchant stores lining the neighbourhood's narrow streets, so go and get lost for a few hours. You won't regret it. Next today, for a bit of street food, it's over to Al Mala. Shawarmas are a dime a dozen across the city, but this old street-side haunt in Satwa serves some of the juiciest shawarmas around. The best news is that Al Mala also gives you back change for your 10 dirham note. If you're not in the mood for some magnificently garlicky grub, the mixed grills are just as impressive too. Combined with fatouche, hummus and a fresh juice and you've got yourself a winning meal. Mm. You'll find this on 2nd of December Street in Satra. A not so old but well worth it place to check out is Al Sif and that's next on today's list. One of the newer entries on this list is the Heritage Neighbourhood Meets Creekside destination by master developer Miras. Here you'll find two distinct districts along a near two kilometre boardwalk alongside the banks of the Dubai Creek and it's full of restaurants and shops to explore. One side represents new Dubai with stylish, slick, modern exteriors, while the other represents historical, traditional Dubai with classic architecture and a deliberate rustic look about it. Head along to find some great bars, restaurants, cafes, shops and more. For some of the best budget food around, head to Calicut Paragon in Korama. Indeed, because the South Indian restaurant in Karama is one of Time Out Dubai's best budget restaurants of 2019, and with very good reason. Dishes here are wildly affordable, but also tremendous in quality. There are plenty of meat and vegetarian dishes, but seafood reigns supreme thanks to dishes such as the crab tushal. It's a must visit if you're into cuisine from the region. Offering us an insight into bygone era is the Dubai Frame. Dubai's picturesque landmark, get it? Got it. Yeah. Allows visitors to see the city's past, present and future in a one hour tour with absolutely incredible views of old and new Dubai from a 150 meter high sky glass bridge. Just don't look down to the transparent floor. On the ground floor at either end of the frame's viewing deck lay two museums, also following the time-based narrative. One follows life of Dubai 50 years ago and the other concludes the tour with a look 50 years into the future. The frame is open daily from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. and it's priced at just 50 dirhams for adults and 20 dirhams for children, while people of determination can visit for free. And there are food trucks outside to keep you fully fueled and ready to go. The Sheikh Mohammed Center for Cultural Understanding is next up today. Known for its breakfast and lunch Q&A sessions with its Emirati hosts, the centre has recently expanded its programme to include dinners too, as well as fawala, the Emirati custom of welcoming guests with tea and pastries. Here you can try traditional Emirati cuisine, coffee and snacks and ask your hosts anything you ever wanted to know about the UAE and its culture. Combine lunch with a heritage tour around the area to learn about Dubai's history from someone whose family lived through it. You'll find this open in the Al Fahidi historical neighbourhood, just around the corner from Dubai Museum, which is next today. If you feel your time in Dubai is lacking a little bit of history, then plan a day trip to the Old Town, especially to the Dubai Museum. Here, a vivid picture of the past is formed during a visit to this historic building, which is home to a wide variety of life-size dioramas that depict Emirati life from a bygone era. 
Soak in the heritage as you take a tour through traditional scenes of Arab households, souks and mosques, all offering unique insights into life in the Emirates, including its first known origins. It's open every day of the week, except Friday. And finally today, we are going to traipse through the old souks. Gold, spice or textiles, take your pick. On either side of Dubai Creek, with an Abba ride in betwixt. Good word. Thank you. Mm. You'll be able to explore some of Dubai's classic markets, which in their day proved to be some of the city's most economic hubs. It is estimated that the gold souk is home to as much as 10 tons of gold at any given moment. And there are dozens of jewelry shops offering some incredible items. Meanwhile, you can buy tons of fresh herbs, spices, remedies, and more in the spice souk, and fabrics and garments, and more in the textile souk. So that's it. Those are the top things to do in old Dubai. So go get some of Dubai's fascinating history in your life. Don't forget to subscribe for loads more videos just like this, and we'll see you next time. Bye.